Six News reporter Mona Nyer has been on Neyland Drive all afternoon and joins us now live. Mona? Yeah, Jill, it's the 25th annual Boomsday Festival. An estimated 400,000 people expected in downtown Knoxville this evening. Let's show you some video from down there, back there on Neelan Drive, where the crowds are already here. They're enjoying fair food. They're listening to live country music. But, of course, this all leads up to the nation's largest Labor Day fireworks display. And that begins at 930 tonight. And that's why we're here with Mike Walden. And, Mike, you gave us this absolutely awesome location. This is sort of your headquarters tonight. We're over the river on the railroad tracks. Talk about what happens here in the hours ahead. Uh, in the next several hours, the guys are uh, out here on the cars. They're hooking everything together. They're making sure that all their checks are in order, making sure that uh, everything is waterproof, making sure that the move of the train has not affected anything and just doing the final uh, finalization on all the different parts that it takes to put on a booms day. Now uh, the the issue that's on a lot of people's minds tonight is the weather. It rained last year. It looks like it may rain this year. How is that going to affect things? Well we make every precaution possible to keep the rain and thunderstorms and all those things uh, from being a factor as far as the fireworks themselves go. We have got some contingency plans and we're going to tweak some things and uh, according to how the weather is we'll determine when certain effects actually go off this year. And talking about effects, what are some of the highlights? Any secrets you can spill out right now? Well, this is the 25th year, so we have all the staples that we've had for Boom in Boom's Day for 25 years. Everybody's excited and going to see the waterfall. And then uh, we've put the Jaws theme back in for the, for the nautical fireworks. We added just a little bit of a twist to Jaws this year, so okay. that'll look a little bit different to most people. Nice. Well, thank you so much, Mike. And earlier today, reporter Haley Harmon was down on Neelan Drive for all the preps. Here she is with that story. Again, that fireworks display starts at 9.30 tonight. We're going to be here to cover it, and we'll be live again at 11. Reporting live in Knoxville, Mona Nyer, 6 News.